Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I'm here in a rather breezy garden and we're now into the second half of August and Milky Way season is back. Yeah, so we finally got the dark skies back here in the UK after the twilight of the summer, the long days, the long summer days. We're now getting the dark skies coming back. The sunset's getting earlier. The sunrise is getting later. So it's all closing up. Next month in September, we'll be on the equinox where everywhere on earth gets around about the equal day and night. That's on around about the 20th. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, this is the first time after summer that we get a chance, or should I say after the, 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 the middle of summer, to get a chance and go out and get some dark skies because we've been starved of dark skies up here at my latitude. I live at 53 degrees north. And what that means is in the middle of summer, we tend to get very long days, the sunsets, uh, very late on almost 10 o'clock at night the sunset now if you live at a latitude say quite a lot lower than that say something like if you live at something like 40 degrees i know we've got a few people that watch in between 40 and 45 degrees latitude you probably don't notice a whole lot difference you know i mean there will be longer days in summer and sh and shorter days in the winter but at that those latitudes you never really get that that lingering twilight that we get at this latitude in the summer so you do get dark skies all year round but anyway where I live in my part of the world finally finally we can then now go out and take pictures of the Milky Way and that's really all I'm talking about in this video and hopefully I will be able to get out there and photograph some skies with the Milky Way some are dark some are away from Blackpool where I live of course now I've not really been out on a Milky Way trip since I was down in Cornwall where I took the pictures that I'm just showing you on the screen now and if you haven't seen those videos please check them out I'll put a link to one of them at the end that's the last time I was out photographing the Milky Way and I've got a few more videos from down there as well I've got about another three videos to show from down there so there you go milky way season is back we've now got the dark skies back and if you can get somewhere dark enough away from town away from the lights you can you can get pictures like what i'm showing you on the screen uh, amazing photographs another thing as well is that we're now past the perseid meteor show did you see any perseid meteors i didn't i did not see a single perseid meteor because unfortunately the weather we have had up here lately has been pretty horrendous we have had some nice days but We've had quite a lot of cloud at night. We've not had any sustained clear nights for a long time. And I did not get to see any Perseid meters, but it's not over yet, folks. There's still a chance to see Perseid meters just yet. We're past the peak, of course, but the shower is still active for another few days. It's active through the weekend. Uh, so, but we are past the peak and you never know you might just see a random shooting star meteor on any night you go out so there's always a chance of seeing something amazing when you go out the next thing i want to talk about is that don't forget that we've got the super moon coming up on the 31st it's the blue super moon because it's the second full moon of august yeah it's going to be a bit bigger than, than average this moon it's going to be pretty big it's going to be spectacular now i missed the last one that we had on the 1st of august so hopefully i will be able to catch this one and I'm just showing you some pictures on the screen now of what a full moon looks like when it rises. A full moon, when it rises, looks absolutely spectacular. So hopefully I will get out and I will capture that full moon for you. So, so yeah, like I say, Milky Way season is back. We've now got the dark skies back. We don't have that lingering twilight all night long. It does get dark, only for a short amount of time. And it's the best time of the year to see the Milky Way right now in the UK, August, and September are great times to see the Milky Way, the brighter part of the Milky Way, and the skies are nice and dark as well. Uh, unfortunately, we are past the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, but there's still a chance of seeing some yet. And don't forget, we've got the super moon at the end of the month, and hopefully I will be covering that for you. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and I will see you on the next one. And don't forget to keep looking up.